So I've just transferred this nuke out from a five frame nuke into a six frame. And it was more so because the feeder was full of honey and I want to keep all my colonies universal for the winter. There's just one left there, number 82. That's a smaller nuke, so I'm not overly fussed about that. But all the rest are going to be in pollen nukes. They all have the same weight. And um, the reason why I'm not speaking clearly is because I've just been eating this honey, which is pretty rank. But that was what came out the top of the feeder. But we've suddenly got a few hornets now. And this is the common hornet. Vespa crabo. Okay. A little bit bigger than the Asian hornet. And what it's doing is probably collecting honey. Well, just here is an Asian hornet. You can see the difference pretty clearly. The Asian hornet is pretty efficient, but it's still not that good at catching honeybees or pollinators. The Asian hornets are very diverse. You know, they take a lot of different things. They take spiders from webs, aphids off of stems of plants, things like that. There's a couple flying around here because obviously I just transferred this nuke over and I just, I just shook the bees out in front of the hive that were in the nuke. And I'm only kind of filming this because A lot of people in the UK are petrified of Asian hornets, but there's only a couple around here. And I wanted just to kind of show you that, as I say in my talks I do, I'm not a hornet specialist. I'm just a beekeeper who's dealing with them over here. And this year we have an awful lot less. We have hardly any. There's no behavior here of the hornets stalking the front of the hive. There's just one or two around the front. This one is obviously homing in on the smell of honey. Easy to film. I'll probably squash it in a minute. There'll be a nest around here. But getting back to what I was saying, this time of the year is when you suddenly have the presence. But our beekeeping is all done. There's nothing more for us to do. All we're doing is maintaining the bees before they go into the winter. And sometimes, some years, you get an awful lot of hornets just at the wrong time, but it's never a good time. But what I'm saying is they're not bad here in Northern Brittany generally. They can be a total pain and beekeepers do lose a lot of their bees sometimes. And remember, what I try to explain is when you have Asian hornets out the front of your hive, you might have a few out the front and you might think, mm, there's not that many being predated, which is okay, but there's the behavior in the, that stresses the hive. And it's kind of a two pronged problem. So you get the stress in the colony. So the queen stops laying and she stops making those winter bees. But also the bees that are foraging are the ones that are getting predated. So there's a big gap. Part of the chain of the cycle of the bees is missing very often when you get a heavy hornet infestation. You're not really missing a few bees out the front of the hive. What you're more missing is those forager bees that are not bringing back the food and the pollen and the nectar that they should be. You're still getting some in and this year will probably be fine because these hornets are probably hardly having an impact. And I'm actually refilling all my traps as we speak um, because it's that time of year where these little blighters are making queens and the one nest that you do have that does successfully produce queens is, is the one that will produce queens for next year. And that's what you want to try and avoid. It's an ongoing problem. We're trying to do what we can. But there is no real solution yet. And these bees aren't being stressed out by these hornets. These, these Asian hornets are so, um, what's the word? Opportunist. They're not having to really go far for food. So they're just going from hive to hive, seeing what they can get. I'm only seeing one, I'm not seeing a permanent presence. And this is the other way of dealing with colonies that are under attack of Asian hornets, is to put a lot of colonies in one area. 
because then the overall effect on each colony is a little bit less. So I know this doesn't affect many people in America, but you have similar things starting there. You have the Asian giant hornet, Vesper mandriana, which has some incidences of occurrence at the moment around Washington state. And obviously if you follow the Facebook page, they're doing a fantastic job of trying to track down the few nests that they are. And that's unfortunately what they didn't do when Vesper Veluntina nigrothorax or the Asian hornet didn't, they didn't do that at the first signs of arriving in France. And now we have this major problem. It's not bad for us, but I'm, I'm, kind of very humble by talking about these hornets because there's all the beekeepers south of here. We're right up on the north coast, okay, where I live, where we, I keep my bees. And generally we don't have too much of a problem. There's still a pain in the ass, but our bees get by. Whereas a lot of beekeepers in further south are absolutely cursing and struggling because it's another invasive insect that's made its way through and they didn't do enough at the start. And also now, we're now hearing reports of the Vespa orientalis, which is the oriental hornet, which is apparently even more ferocious in its attack than the Asian hornet. So don't forget the first one I showed you, the, the really yellow one, that's the common hornet, Vespa crabo. And they're not really an issue. They're indigenous to here. They've always been here and they're kind of naturalized. They do do a lot of good. They eat a lot of flies, they eat a lot of things. The problem you have is when you have an invasive species that comes in, they overtake other things and they've done so well. The Asian hornet, Vespa nigrothorax has come in here and done really well because it's found a niche and there's loads of insects and loads of pollinators. And we have to try and keep the numbers down, but there is no real good solution at the moment. But anyway, that's just a little bit when I'm just reporting what I see. I'm just a beekeeper who has to deal with Asian hornets. As we say so many times, it is what it is. But the overall nectar flow is brilliant. You can see the amount of excess honey and food we're getting. Every box is rammed. I'm really pleased. So my other apiary is right down there. That's the same, but I've got all my hornet traps down there and this apiary is gonna be moved very quickly because I don't want these having a problem with Asian Hornet. But what we'll do now is we're recharging the traps, as I mentioned, and the weather will turn, it will slightly get colder and the Asian Hornets will produce queens in the nest and the nest will die at the end of the year, as is the same for all Vespa family. The wasps and the Hornets all do this. They all produce founding queens that will hibernate and then the nest will just drop down over the winter. Occasionally some carry on into December. Yes, I know that. They're not always true to habit, but generally that's what they do. So a bit of interest. I hope you don't have a problem with Asian hornets. And I hope you realize in the UK that you are doing an amazing job because you're tracking down everything you see because all you smart people out there have downloaded the app on your phone, the Asian Hornet app, and you're able to identify and very quickly the National Bee Unit are dispatching operatives and they are dealing with any nest they find. I believe there was one at Ascot recently, which has been dealt with. So you have a great load of foot soldiers and you have a great resource. Please support it however you can and keep those Asian Hornets out of the UK. But I think you will. I think I've always maintained that I don't think they'll ever get a foothold in the UK because there's a lot more foot soldiers. Over here in France, we've got four times the amount of space, well, three times the amount of space and a bit more, and the same populations. You can see we get areas where there's just no way people are gonna notice a nest. Enjoy your beekeeping. <laughs>